Well, John Ingram joins me now. Welcome to the Forum for the Future of Agriculture, John. You are Food Systems Programme Leader of the Environmental Change Institute, and of course that's the University of Oxford. Um, John, you've been sitting in on the session so far. We had a video address from Ban Ki-moon. We've heard from Phil Hogan, the Farming Commissioner here, and from Jose Graziano de Silva. We were talking about the complexity of the world that the Sustainable Development Goals is trying to uh, look at change, solve. Uh, I think one of the messages that I heard uh, was very much change is needed and change is needed now. That's a simple message for a complex situation. What, what, what did you hear from the forum so far this morning? Well I agree with that, uh, that uh, change is needed now. The question is change in what? And that's really the scope of the conversation. Here we are in the agricultural community to put it simply. Uh, there's a tremendous opportunity for agriculture and agribusiness to reach out into new strategies to help address the challenges we've been hearing about. But ultimately, we need to balance the growing consumption, uh, demand for consumption, with the ability to produce. And so the broader conversation is how we actually manage ourselves. And, and indeed, um, Akim Steiner was referring to this, you know, the societal level challenge is not just about how do we produce enough food environmentally sustainably, but how do we actually manage consumption overall. And the role I'm hearing for the agricultural world is of course enormous, but one views it in terms of resource management as opposed to just food production. I think one of the things we heard was that, that uh, whilst we can all agree on the problems, uh, overlaid of course with climate change, you know, um, are we going to get any movement or consensus towards the solutions? What's your take? Because I know that you're going to be instrumental in one of the keynote sessions this afternoon. What are you going to be saying to the forum? I'm going to be, well my work is uh, in my introduction, you pointed out, is to do with food systems. So I'm interested in everything that gets the, 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 the cross on in the hand, not just the agricultural production. So that means one needs to look at all those potential enterprises and intervention points throughout that entire chain to see where a, a range of solutions lie. Where are your energies focused at the moment, John? You talk about interventions and, and initiatives. You know, give, give me some insight into that. It would be looking at the food system as a whole. Uh, that in itself is, is innovative, rather than thinking of the different links in the chain. The chain is a chain. And the opportunities to influence a link somewhere else in the chain is really what it's about. We can think about supply chains, we can also think about um, uh, government ministers, certainly here we are in Brussels today, um, working in their single chains, not too linked, you know, that sort of silo mentality. That's something that's come up in the debate so far today as well. Sure, well, I think it was uh, Mr De Silva was, was saying the governance of the, the, the delivery of the SDGs is really the big challenge. Is that because the SDGs are uh, too compartmentalised in their definitions or is it that we don't see the big picture and I argue in my talk this afternoon that but by taking a food systems approach one can actually address many SDGs because the innovation systems that we need to bring about map very well into a food system uh, framework and thereby address health and environment and jobs and livelihoods and all of that. The, uh, the, what we learn really from the analysis of food systems when we think about access to food is uneven. Whilst many are hungry, many are obese. Sure, uh, this is an extraordinary uh, phenomenon. Uh, I'll refer to it in my talk, two and a half billion of us over consuming. The challenge I think for the uh, sustainability of the system is we the over consumers and the fact that in the next couple of decades there's likely to be another two billion middle classes which in many ways is very good you know increasing wealth and is, is fine but with that comes a change in diet that means increased pressure if those diets are akin to those that you and I have enjoyed during our lifetimes and so we will be looking to uh, discuss the need for diet change in attitude and approach essentially recoupling us the consumers with the food system so that we are more aware of what's good for health, 
what's good for environment, what's good for livelihoods, what's good for the future of the, of the system as a whole. I'm sure the Forum will be very interested in that recoupling debate and I'm sure uh, it will go on this afternoon. Enjoy the Forum here thank today. You. John Ingram, thank you very much. Thank you.